morning guys, welcome back to our channel. And today, morning. Morning. <laughs> and today we're taking you along in the day of the life of Marlos! Marlo! We're going to be answering your questions that you left on Instagram, as well as showing you what it's like. And we have a busy schedule. Today's a busy day, so let's go! All right, so this is for the parents that are going with their child to their first job. You're going to want to make sure you bring a lot of entertainment. Um, sometimes I'm alone there, so it's a nice kind of study time. So I'll bring my Bible and my journal. I have my computer. And you always want to make sure you have um, the work permits you need and as well as the vouchers, which you'll want to be signed with an agency. They'll supply that, and it is almost like your invoice to the company. This is all the stuff I like to bring. I got my phone, charger, very important. I got my water bottle, books, a neck pillow because it drives a little long. What are you bringing, Willow? My phone, a DVD, an alien bird, a coloring book with some stickers and a pencil, myself. <laughs> and yourself. And Daddy is home to watch Indy because, hi babe. It is a liability to bring any siblings, but because both girls have a meeting right after Liv's shoot, Willow is an exception and she gets to come along today. So keep that in mind. If modeling is something you want to get into, it's definitely going to take a village. Mama, You're going to need all the help you can get if you have other kids. Mama. Indy really wants to come. She's not happy. What's on the agenda today is Liv has a shoot with Old Navy first, and Willow and Liv have a meeting afterwards just a couple blocks away so it's getting kind of down to the wire we're gonna hop in the car and hit the road we always start our trips off with Starbucks right girls so we're here at Starbucks before I run in and pick up our order I thought I would answer one of your questions this one was left on Willow Lee Morgan and this is a really good question what kind of clothes should we wear by the way I love you so much and I hope you see this that is from live underscore brown 72 what do you say Willow uh, I love you too so what kind of clothes should we wear now, that's a good question because the girls are actually going to a meeting after Liv's shoot. And what I like to do is I research the company they're meeting with and I kind of get a taste of what their vibe is, what their style is. So if Willow had a meeting with Pottery Barn, I would dress her in something very pink, um, very flowy, very comfy. And when Liv had meetings with Old Navy and Gap, I dressed her very Old Navy Gap. I didn't put her like in their actual brands because I thought that would be a little bit too much you know so this next meeting they have today it's a really trendy company so I did leopard print Liv's wearing a really pretty white blouse with jeans right here she's in her comfy clothes because she has a shoot first and so we dress according to the companies they're meeting with so, so that was a really great question and I hope that was a good bit of advice for you thank you we got here early so we're gonna answer some of your questions so our next question is have you been modeling for a while now? And that question is from Mita.Sagit, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, Liv has been modeling since she was five, right Livy? I think it was four. Four or five, I can't remember really. And Willow was three. Their very first job ever was actually with Kardashian kids. And I remember being so freaked out and so intimidated that they ended up doing a really awesome job. And then that question is... Where do I go and what website do I start on? That question was submitted by Lauren the Chihuahua. Very, very good question. And there's a lot of information um, on this. First, you're going to want to see what agencies are in the area of where you live or within, um, you know, a modest driving distance. So, you, you know... If it's five hours away, that's going to be really hard for you to travel and to and from. To, you like have to book a hotel before you go. Yes. So keep in mind travel. Um, find a, a reputable agency that is as close to you as possible. And if you're willing to travel, then ride on. More power to you. But you'll definitely want to research the agency. You never, ever, ever pay. That is a huge mistake people make. They think that they need to pay the agency to sign them. And you do not. That is a red flag right off the bat. Turn around and run if an agency is asking for any money. You never, ever, ever 
ever pay an agency up front. Get some really nice pictures taken and then you will submit them to a couple agencies and give it a couple days. If you don't hear back from them, then just do it again. Maybe make a phone call and set up a meeting with an agency, but you're definitely gonna wanna have an agent if you're really gonna take this modeling stuff. So one more question before we head in, and this is a good one. And this is definitely a message I wanna get across to all of you youngins. This is from XO underscore Scarlet, XO underscore. She asks, do you have to be pretty? Now here's one thing I want all of you sweet girls to understand. You are all beautiful. There is no standard of any kind. We are all unique, we are all special, we are all beautiful in our own way. Agencies love diverse varieties of humans of all kinds. <laughs> and so there is no standard. Anyone can be a model. You just have to be outgoing and willing to get out there and to not hold back and you know, just give it your all when you're in front of the camera. You can't have any apprehension. If you're shy, this is probably not the business for you. Thank you for your question. It's time to head in to live or maybe shoot. Now we got time this. We don't allow any filming. We'll do our best to film some stuff, but it's really not allowed. When we get in there, then we'll check in with the studio teacher and go into hand makeup. And mommy and I are gonna relax. We're shooting summer looks with Old Navy today. This is green and yard. Navy. Oh, that's the best thing. Take with the necklace. Go put it on her. Yeah, cut me up. Come here. You like it? Beautiful, thank you. Lift this side shooting and show the knuckle. How many yogurts have you eaten? Well, we're waiting. We're gonna answer some more questions. Okay, Mama Two Girls Dot Boutique asks, was there any money spent on modeling classes? No, and I don't suggest them. I think it's a waste of money and a waste of time. The best way is to get experience in front of the camera, take them yourself, get your little one used to it. Perhaps a photographer is willing to do it for trade, for social media, stuff like that. I really don't recommend putting forth any money for modeling classes. Okay, our next question is from Lanisha.t. Can you work with an agent in LA if you live in another state? Now, that's a really good question. Some agencies prefer that you live within a certain distance, um, but not all. Um, we have a couple friends who live here in California are signed with two different agencies in the state they're about five hours from each and they're also signed with an agency in new york you just kind of have to shop around and see which agencies are open-minded to you living further from them and if you are up for traveling because not all jobs pay for your travel so if you're okay with that and the jobs are worth it to you then you should be good to go Okay, Willow, this is a good question for you. It's from Sky underscore with underscore and underscore E. She wants to know, how do you gain the confidence? So how do you get brave to get out there and smile and take photos and not feel shy? Cruise was really nice in like the studio owned pose that you like to do. And I do that's why cool. Like this like do your like own thing. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Like be yourself at home. Have fun. And they're always so encouraging. And every shoe gets easier and easier and more and more fun. And I think confidence is built over time. You always have to start some. And I think you are going to do a great job. It's for you, Christian. This next question is from Jasmine underscore 333 underscore. She wants to know, how do you learn how to pose? How do you learn how to pose? Oh, like, this, like, do this, and then you do pad lips, and then, like, if you want, you can swing around. So make sure you have lots of movement. And then you can go like this, and then you can switch the other hand. Or you can turn around and go like this. It helps practice in front of your knees sometimes. That way you know like when you're up there in front of the camera. How you look. So what's your favorite pose, Willow? Mm -hmm. Pug flips. Can we see it? Like this. 
That's your favorite pose? That's yeah. a good one. <laughs> I love it. I think that's your signature. Yeah. Thank you for another great question. Another really good question asked by Madeline.a.g is best kid agencies. Now, some of the best agencies I'm going to link down below in our description. You can just follow those links and you can start submitting your photos. So we highly recommend JE Kids, which is in San Francisco, Zuri, um, it's down south, Ben Simone. Those are really good agencies. LA Model Youth, awesome. And you can check all those out down below. All right, I just wrapped, and now we're rushing over to the next location. Well, we just arrived at the next location just in time for it to start pouring rain. Oh, never a dull moment when you're always on the go. And that is the reality of a model life, right guys? Yeah. Yeah. Made it to my meeting. Wish us luck. Well, that was a successful meeting. Sure it was. Now I'm ready to head home. <laughs> I'm ready to take these little cute balloon animals. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and if you have any more model questions, then leave them in the comments, and we'll get back to you. Time for the long drive home. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit that bell, and, and we'll see you on our next video. video. Bye. Bye. Bye.